All right, John, since you asked about doing the discussion about the Crow reboot, I will do a try to keep this about uh, 10 minutes or something and talk about just the, the Crow remake. So here we go. The Crow has kind of been under the radar, the reboot radar, as I call it, or the remake radar. For quite some time, um, the crow, the the name has been you know kind of bounced around for several years now, as you know a potential remake, reboot, reimagining, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, the first time that I heard about a remake was in the early two thousands. Rob Zombie had, I guess, before Halloween, before. House of a Thousand Corpses, all that stuff, had discussed doing a sequel slash remake of The Crow, whatever uh, that is supposed to mean in, in Rob Zombie terms. Um, there was an idea, and they never made it, to do a, it was like going to be crawled, crawled, it was going to be called The Crow, like, 2037 or something like that some some time period around there and it was supposed to take place in the future and i guess it was gonna be you know just a future version of of what the crow you know character is uh luckily that didn't get made because i'm sure that would have been a disaster and a half especially coming from rob zombie and then um 2008 around there is the first rumblings of a potential remake of the crow and there there have been uh the thing is there's been many names attached to this movie um steven nordingham who did uh blade which is a movie that i love you know his name was the first director that i remember hearing attached to doing a possible crow remake and um over the past couple of years uh there has been many actors that have you know, been uh, discussed about doing a crow. I think at one point there was a rumor about Tom Cruise doing a remake, which I cannot see Tom Cruise playing this kind of character. Um, the most popular ones was uh, Channing Tatum, Bradley Cooper, Jason Momoa. And, you know, back in May, Jason Momoa stepped down from doing the role, which I agree with. Jason Momoa has Aquaman. There's no point for him to do The Crow, just to do, you know, an R-rated, brutal comic book movie, um, you know. And uh, at one point, Norman Reedus was attached, and Luke Evans, and a lot of actors have been, you know, uh, discussed to do a Crow remake. And I've said this a million times, and, and I think that most people will agree with me. You don't need a remake to The Crow. No one wants to see a remake to The Crow. You know, and you don't need it. The people that, and I'm not trying to knock on anybody, but the people that think there should be a Crow remake, I'm sorry, but are a bunch of idiots. There doesn't need to be a remake to The Crow. They tried to remake The Crow three times with the sequels because all The Crow sequels was essentially the same movie, the same story as before. Um, I like City of Angels, as I said earlier in the in the documentary. Um, you know, it's not a bad movie. I just think that it was a victim of behind the scenes politics, and the for some reasons the Weinstein's. Now we know how they ended up. Um, felt that the City of Angels should have been, you know, pretty much like the first movie, which is not how it should have been, in my opinion. But that's another topic for another video. I've never seen The Crow Salvation. Um, I haven't heard anything positive about it, to be honest. And The Crow Wicked Prayer, I thought, was lousy. Um, the movie was... Uh, Edward Furlong was completely miscast as The Crow. I think uh, David Boreanaz, who played the bad guy in the movie, should have been The Crow, and that would have been a much better film, in my opinion. Um, you know, the cast is wasted, because there's a good cast in there. Danny Trejo's in the movie. 
um, some other recognizable faces completely wasted in this movie, in that movie, excuse me. And I know there was a potential DMX version of a Crow movie, which, no, I don't want to see DMX play the Crow. Sorry, not sorry. You know, and just again, nobody wants to see a remake of The Crow. And I, I know, like, people are probably wondering, like, you know, how, how, like, the development went. There wasn't really any development on a remake of it. All that, you know, at least from what I remember and what I read, that all this movie really got was, well, the remake at least, all it ever got was some potential people directing the movie and starring in the movie. And some quotations from people saying, yeah, you know, we're not going to take away from what Brandon Lee did. This is, you know, this is a completely different version of The Crow. This is going to be darker and more brutal and closer to the comic. Um, I don't know if any of the people that said these quotes actually read the comic, but the movie is pretty close to the comic. Uh, the Crow even... Um, in its form that it is now, and it has been, um, it was edited down quite a bit for violence after the death of Brandon Lee as at, by the request of the family. Um, the Crow is still a dark, violent, nihilistic, uh, gritty comic book film. Um, you know, the movie looks dark. You know, Brandon always said that he would love to have shot the crow in black and white, but due to, in his words, the shitty realities of Hollywood, it couldn't be done that way. But uh, there is online, you can find uh, people did their own black and white versions of the movie, which I highly recommend looking up if you if you want to see that. Um, but, you know, the movie, you know, even for 1994, it was dark and it was brutal and it was gritty and it was violent. And it still is now in 2019. You know, The Crow, I think, is one of the darkest comic book films out there that nobody ever talks about. That's why I said earlier that I do feel that The Crow is an underrated movie because it, you know, people remember it only really for what unfortunately happened to, you know, the guy that we're talking about in this documentary. You know, but The Crow is, is such a great comic book film. It's such a great, you know, revenge and love story that's what it basically if you want to narrow it down to a category it's kind of what it is but again you know i know i'm going off track the people that said that okay well it's going to be more like the comic obviously either didn't watch the movie or read the comic or both because the movie's pretty close to the comic um in tone and pretty much everything else um some of the stuff in the comic is a lot more graphic, but obviously for Hollywood at that time, you couldn't do stuff like that. So that's about it. Uh, all the names of the characters are pretty much the same, same setup, same situation. Um, you know, the comic book is just a little, you know, I know I said a lot, but it is, you know, the comic book is a lot more graphic in some things. And again, you can't, you couldn't do that in, Hollywood at the time. I mean, now you can, if, if the crow, if the crow was never made, which a part of me wishes that, I know Matt said it and I agree with Matt because Brandon would still be here. We wouldn't have had the, the unfortunate incident that occurred. Um, if the crow was, if it was brand new made today, you could pretty much do it word for word from the cop because you'd be able to get away with it. But again, you know, there wasn't, really anything past discussions about people who were going to be in it because everyone that was attached to it dropped out of the movie. Stephen Nordingham, Mark Wahlberg, Bradley Cooper, Jason Momoa, uh, Tom Hardy was attached to it at one point, uh, Norman Reedus. All these guys have, you know, there's no information out there of how far these discussions or, or talks or whatever got. It was basically just, okay, Tom Hardy is attached to the Crow remake. Two months later, Tom Hardy exits the Crow remake. That's it. Because I don't think people want to be in this movie. I don't think people want to do a Crow remake. Yeah, you know, they're attached to it. There's discussions, you know, okay, we'll pay you $65 million. No, I'll pass. Um, you know, maybe uh, people are afraid of something happening 
again, you know, of, of, of something, you know, eerily similar to what happened to Brandon. Again, I don't know. Um, but whatever, you know, it's, 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 it doesn't need to happen. There does not need to be a crow. Uh, there does not need to be another crow sequel or, or a remake. There's that. Um, and I didn't know I didn't talk about the TV show. I love the TV show because it was completely different from um, anything that the movies did because it was an alternate kind of version of the movie. And again, it's a TV show. It's not a movie version of it. And I like Mark Dacascos as Eric Draven. I thought he did great. Um, you know, it was uh, it was a cool show because it had the Crow stuff in it. And then it also had, you know, your typical, like, action TV show stuff in it, which was cool. It was cool to see those come together. Um, and, you know, Mark Dacascos got to do a little more humanity with it, a little more of the human side of it which was cool as well which you know mark dacascos is a very underrated actor in my opinion and he never gets the credit that he deserves i really enjoy his work but that's another topic for another day as well but i know I, I i'm going too long here but at the end of the day no one wants or needs a crow remake or sequel um does not need to happen Please, you know, there should have never really been any sequels anyway, but because the first movie was such a big hit and it was very profitable for Dimension Films and Miramax and Disney, because Disney owned them at the time, um, you know, there was a lot of potential to do more. And plus, there was a sequel plan with Brandon Lee. Um, so they kind of just, you know, changed the plans a little bit and... Let's do a sequel. And then you had two more sequels. And then you had a TV show. And, you know, you had a horrible video game based on one of those movies. And there you go. But I've always said this, and I, I will stick to it till you know, the crows come home, pun intended. Um, the only way that I would like to see a crow remake is if they do it with a female crow. And that and people are probably thinking, well, you know, Ghostbusters flopped and it had an all-female cast. Um, I've all, even way before that Ghostbusters movie came out, uh, the, the sequel or whatever the hell it tries to be, I've only seen a little bit of it. It's terrible. Um, uh, but that's not because of the all female cast. Anyway, again, I know I'm getting off topic, but we never really got to see a female crow. They did it in the comics. There was a few comics with a female crow and there was a couple episodes of the TV show where there was a female crow and that was it. Um, if they were to do a gender reverse and have a female crow in a movie, that I would be interested in seeing because it's different. And there's a fan film out there, which I can't find for some reason. You think with YouTube and everything, you'd be able to find it. There is a fan film out there, which they reversed the genders. And I heard it's a pretty good fan film. So I'd like to find that. But at the end of the day, once again, uh, there should never be a crow sequel again. Or a remake. No. No more. Just keep making comics. That's all we all really need. That's my thoughts. On that, John, um, I know I went over 10 minutes, but you can cut and paste what you want. You know, whatever. And I look forward to seeing this in the extended cut. Uh, I'm, you're welcome. And thanks for asking me to be in it once again. The first cut was great. I loved it. And I've been spreading it like wildfire people have been watching it so that's cool